So I've had this question asked a number of times and I thought I would just do a quick video just to demonstrate how it's done. Essentially the question is how do you take two different master lights that were shot um, at different times, uh, different nights say, uh, possibly different equipment and um, align them so that you can combine that data into one image. Now you could go back and take all of the data, so all of the light frames, all of the flats, all of the darks, etc. Um, you could run those, rename those first of all into uh, separate sessions and then use the grouping keywords in the weighted batch preprocessing script uh, in order to align, calibrate, align, and uh, stack into one master light. But there may be situations where you don't want to do that, so this manual uh, uh, method. Um, is pretty quick and easy and I just wanted to demonstrate how that's done. So let me just switch over to my Pixinsight here and what we're looking at is this is RGB data so one shot color data that I took uh, using the Esprit 100, the Skywatcher Esprit 100 uh, triplet refractor and the QHY 268C camera. Over here this is data that I shot using the Explorer Scientific 127 triplet and a QHY 268M, the monochrome version of the 268. So I've got a master light of my luminance data shot with the Explorer Scientific 127 and the QHY 268M. And over here I've got a one-shot color image. So I want to align these two images so that I can integrate the master light of the luminance, the luminance data, into the master light of the color image. And it's, like I said, really simple to do. Go up to process, all processes, and go down to dynamic alignment. And it'll open the dynamic alignment tool as we see here. You can leave everything at default. There's no, no need to change anything. What it is gonna ask you though is for to define the first image and the second image. So we can see here that we need to define image one. So I'm just going to click on image one. And then if I go over to the second image, it changes to a two. And I'm going to click on that to assign the luminance image as the second image. So now we've got image one and image two according to dynamic alignment. So now what we want to do is we want to click uh, on a star in the first image just like this, so we'll just pick this one. Sometimes it's, you can zoom in to make it a little easier. So you click on the first star, and then you wanna come over here. You can see that it didn't find it in the second image. So it has placed it uh, somewhere else, and we need to manually move it. So we can see it's way down here in the corner, which isn't, isn't correct. So what you wanna do is just hover over it until you get a, a triangle, then click and hold, and you can drag it to the correct star. So in this case here, I'm gonna drag it and drop it right there. So now what's happened is I have manually told Pixinsight dynamic alignment tool that this star is located here in the second image. And I'm gonna repeat that process. And it's probably going to take a few alignment points before the dynamic alignment tool knows where the correct star positions are. So let me just click on another star. So what I usually do is I try to click on, uh, try to define some sort of, find patterns that I can easily identify in the, uh, the second image. So here's a grouping of three stars I can easily find in the second image. Um, and I just have to locate where it placed the alignment point. So the alignment point is up here. So I'm just going to hover over it. Sometimes it's hard to get to nail down. Um, let me just see if I can, no, I'm gonna have to just go out a bit here. Sometimes it's hard to nail this. This is, uh, there we go, I got it there. So I changed to the triangle and I'm just gonna drag that alignment point over the correct star. Okay, so now I've got two alignment points set. But I wanna continue because Pixinsight, the dynamic alignment tool doesn't yet know the correct alignment. And we'll know when 
it knows that the two images, how to align the two images properly because these, uh, these points, these alignment points on the second image will start dropping onto the correct stars that we've picked from the first image. Uh, but we haven't seen that happen yet, so we're just going to continue on here. So let me just move this over slightly. And I'm going to look for another grouping. So um, let's see here. We've got, uh, I just got to find something nearby for now. So let's just pick right here pick this star and as actually we've already hit it so it already has learned the correct alignment so as we can see here it dropped the second alignment point um, or sorry the uh, alignment point on the second image on the correct star so now at this point now that it knows where the stars are in each image you can just simply start clicking on a star in the first image and it will pick it up in the second image. And I'll just keep doing that just to give it a number of alignment points to work with. Um, just for accuracy. You don't have to do a lot, just a few. Um, so I'll just do a few more. I'll get some down here in this corner. Okay, so that'll be enough. Picks and Sights Dynamic Alignment Tool knows how to correctly align the second image to the first image. Once we've laid in our alignment points for the first image and dynamic alignment is matching those stars in the second image and we know that uh, we, we at that point know that things are ready to go so we can click on the green check mark and it'll run the dynamic alignment and as we can see here it has created a registered image that will properly align with the first image. So let me just close off the dynamic alignment tool. We don't need it anymore. And I will minimize this one here. We don't need that anymore. This is the new image here. And if we go over top of the color image with the luminance, we can see that they are now aligning perfectly. So at this point, I can process my luminance data image, my master luminance, and I can process my master color image. And then I can integrate the luminance into the color image to produce one final image. Okay, so that was pretty easy to do. Um, something that is uh, very useful uh, at certain times uh, when you're using Pix and Sight and you've got uh, two different data sets that you want to be able to align. And uh, this data here, just uh, just as example, um, I'll show you, uh, go back here to my screen here. So as I said, this data was the one shot color data. Uh, it was shot in 2020 with a different telescope and different camera. This was shot in 2022 with a different camera and different telescope and I needed to align these two and that's what the uh, dynamic alignment uh, tool allows me to do. So let me know in the comments if uh, you are using the dynamic alignment tool in PixInsight. Have you used it? Um, let me know if this video is helpful. Uh, if you did not know about this um, ability of PixInsight to align images in this manual manner. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel grow and it helps get videos like this out in front of more people. Uh, the more that you guys engage with the video, like the video, subscribe, comment, um, the more that these videos are going to be promoted to other people. And that is helpful because that could mean that someone out there that is learning Pix and Sight, learning to use it, new to astrophotography and image processing, um, could benefit from this video or other videos of mine. And you're helping to spread the word and get that video in front of them. And I'm sure that they would appreciate that too. So thanks very much everyone. And we'll see you again in another video. For now, take care and clear skies.